We just had a wedding downstairs. Uh, two of my children got married. And uh, my children from the tabernacle, a uh, little Billy Simpson, a little Myers girl. They've been sweethearts for some time. Cheryl, yes. I'm Brother Bill Simpson, and this is my wife, Sharon. We were the couple that were married in Shreveport, Louisiana, December 1st, 1963, at Brother Jack Moore's church when Brother Bram preached the Absolute. We first started hearing of Brother Branham when I lived in Canada. I'm from Saskatchewan, and my dad had uh, heard of Brother Branham. He first heard of Brother Branham in 1947 in Saskatoon, but then he never heard anymore until he came down to some meetings in uh, Owensboro, I think it is, and that was in 1953. And when he came home, he came home with records and some tapes and books. And from that time, we listened to Brother Branham. Dad was, you know, after he went to a few more meetings, he come back to the church that we went to and said that from now on, we should just play Brother Branham's tapes. That's all we need to do. And. The people in the church, they weren't really very acceptance of that, so they just asked us, we probably shouldn't come back. And so at that time we were out of that church, and we just, it was okay because we just followed Brother Branham. Because my dad, he went to meetings in, um, he went with Brother Sothman, they went to meetings, they went to Los Angeles in 1959. He'd gone to other meetings first, but when he went to the meeting in Los Angeles, he came home and says, we're going to sell everything we got and we're moving to Jeffersonville. So within a month, we had sold everything. And from that, then we had to move. And so uh, we moved to Jeffersonville. People were not very happy with us, and they offered us everything to just stay. I was only 18 at the time, but people offered me jobs just to not go. They said, if your family goes, you don't have to go. You can come and work for us. But I had enough insight at the time, which is kind of amazing, to go, to want to go. And so I left. And from that time on, we went to all the meetings. We traveled across the country and just went to meetings. We, I lived in Jeffersonville, but we couldn't get a job because we were busy going to the meetings all the time. Sharon's family, she went to uh, Chautauqua in 1960, and that's where we first met. Of course, she was a little girl then, and we couldn't go out. I was 15, and, 14, 15. And then uh, we kept, you know, she kept coming to meetings, and finally we started going out together. We continued to see each other at different meetings, and then finally we decided to get married, you know, set a date for our wedding, but it all depended on Brother Branham's schedule. He called my aunt and told her that he could marry us down in Shreveport. I was living in Memphis at the time, Tennessee, and Bill was living in Tucson, Arizona, and he said he could marry us that weekend down at Brother Jack Moore's in Shreveport, Louisiana. We had a meeting in Brother Branham's office that morning. We had to meet with Brother Branham to uh, sign some papers and get this all done before services because we might not be able to see him. But Brother Branham talked to us for quite a while. He talked to us for a long time that... Bef you know, at that time, before the, sir, before the wedding, he talked to us. He did, and we signed our license and all, and we didn't realize that downstairs they were playing the wedding march over and over and over. And, um, and after our wedding ceremony, which was very early in the morning, we were downstairs in the basement, and we left there and came up for the services that morning. So we are 
happy for them. I see they taking their place after getting married, go right back in the auditorium of the church and sit down and listen to the service. Those children have always had a deep place in my heart because they're so respective to the Word. They, they just love the Word. I don't think that, that I call them my children. I don't think they're any better than other children. But they just look to me and I, I, I look to God for them. 